When do you put grown-up kids out? Well, first of all, it's good to help your kids. If your kids are doing well, they're trying to help, they're 22, 24, 25, 28, what have you, and they're trying to do something for themselves, they're not a nuisance, they're, they're, they're not a pest, they're not irritating you in your home between you and your spouse. Uh, it's okay if you've already agreed to the, with those children that you're going to help them get going. Or if they're truly working on a project and they've given you the plan, that's a good reason to allow those kids to go ahead and get started. Many of us adults today wish we had parents who could allow us to stick around until we got our businesses going or whatever we were trying to accomplish. However, if you have some old freeloading child, he's 22, 25 years old, just laying around the house, works, doesn't help with anything, doesn't pay, doesn't clean up, doesn't cut the grass, won't do anything, just hanging around there interfering, and especially when it bothers you and your spouse. There's no privacy in the home because you got this grown-up man or woman still living in there. You can't do anything you want to do. You can't be free in your own house because you got a grown-up living there. Well, you know, it's time for that child to go because they're not helping anywhere. They're not doing anything but just being in the way. So if they have an aunt or a cousin or somebody, maybe grandma, maybe they can go somewhere and live with that person, but that person needs to go. So when do you, when do you do, when do we put grown up kids out? When they're in the way and they're becoming a nuisance and they're affecting the marriage. For when you married your spouse, you didn't marry that child. You married your spouse. And that child now is grown up and it's about time for that child to go. Just like the mother eagle kicks the eaglets out the, out the nest and tells them now you have to learn to fly. And that's the bottom line. And you just and she watches them flap those wings until they finally get it. And yes, we'll be the parents should, loving parents should watch the child and see if they're if they're making it, if they're managing well enough. But again, if they, they're not putting forth any effort, they're just bumming, they're just freeloading, they don't do anything, and then maybe they work or not, but they don't help out anywhere and they're just in the way, and they miss the fact, the revelation that you and your spouse might want some privacy, you might want to get back to just being husband and wife again, and not having this grown-up child in the house. Well, you see, that child's got to go then. That's when they have to go. Yes, and so there is a time you just have to put those children out and say, okay, look here, this is it. Here, the, the next two months, I want you out of here. Get yourself a better job. Find you someplace, somebody where you can stay with, but you have to go from here. It's time because we're enabling them if we continue to let them stick around and be about nothing, doing nothing, and just interfering with your lifestyle. Yes, that's when it's time to put those kids out. I'm saying this because... I get many questions through BFABP and I hear a whole lot of conversation in various places. And so I just thought I'd come on and share because of in my circle where I'm at, uh, this question is raised. I know it's just a microcosm of the world at large. It's a time to put them out and you just got to go ahead and do it. Amen. Subscribe to BFABP and just follow. So we're putting them out every week. We're putting out, I'm telling blogs every week concerning various subjects, uh, biblical uh, from a biblical perspective, and that's what this is, believers from a biblical perspective, bfabp.com. Thank you so very much. <laughs>